Good morning and welcome to Bethlehem Baptist Church. If this is your first time visiting with us, we want to welcome you to our church. Please open your bulletins. There you will find a QR code. Open your camera app and point it at the QR code and it will take you to our digital connection card. Here you'll find a visitor information form that you can fill out so we have a record of your visit and you will also find some information about our church. Now, let's go over our weekly announcements. We will have choir practice today at 4.30 and children's choir practice today at 5 o'clock in the sanctuary. Everyone is invited to join us as we decorate our church and enjoy a meal together today at 5.30 p.m. in the Family Life Center. We will encourage you to bring a couple of your favorite dishes. Drinks will be provided. The Bethlehem Stars are headed to Myrtle Beach for their Carolina Christmas Opry trip. The bus will leave at 7 a.m. sharp on Thursday. We have four students who need sponsoring for this Christmas. We need your help sharing the love of Christ to these students in our county. Please consider adopting one of these students. You can see me for details on sponsoring these students. Also, uh, those gifts are due by December the 5th, Sunday, December the 5th. Beginning next Sunday, December the 5th, we will be accepting Christmas cards for our BBC congregation. Bethlehem Baptist Post Office is an opportunity for us to send cards of encouragement within our local congregation. You may place your cards in the box on the table in the foyer. Cards will be available in your Sunday school class. The last day for pickup will be Sunday, December 19th. We will be making goodie bags on Wednesday, December the 8th for our staff and teachers at Buford Area Schools. We'll be filling approximately 250 bags for our staff and teachers. We would like to have three to four cookies per bag. So we're asking you to help provide those cookies for this outreach opportunity. Lottie Moon Christmas offering is coming up. We'll have a week of prayer for national missions, November the 28th through December the 5th. This year, our goal is $3,000. Our gathering will take place on December the 19th. And so would you please pray and consider giving towards this goal by December the 19th. Now, let's go over our sermon preview. This week, we're continuing our sermon series on Do We Really Mean It? Our hymn this week is Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. We'll be in Isaiah 6, verses 1 through 8. So, who is the best musician of all time? Man, I'm going to have to say uh, uh, Gaither Vocal Band. Um... Maybe about, a little MC Hammer. What about Michael Jackson? Uh, yeah, Michael Jackson, I'd say he's pretty good. Or uh, Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks, I think is a good one. Let's, uh, how about, uh, what's the best Christmas present you ever got? The mm. best one ever. The, the one that sticks out to me the most, when I was uh, probably about 10 years old, I got a Honda 73 wheeler. Really? I rode the fire out of that thing. I always wanted a dirt bike, but I ended up getting a three wheeler and I love that thing. Man, my, my most favorite is probably uh, a go-kart. Mm -hmm. I remember waking up that morning and going out, my dad taking me outside, my, me and my sister, and we, we got a go-kart. And probably my second uh, was when I got my first rifle. Uh, it's it's uh, two of my favorite uh, Christmas presents I ever got before. Name a comic, comic book character whose last name starts with Wayne, mm -hmm. who dresses in all black and drives a really, really awesome awesome car around Gotham City. It's got to be Bruce Wayne, Batman. <laughs> Bruce Wayne it is. That was easy because there's only like one person that really fits that description, right? That's exactly right. And you know, it's hard to really define the, the greatness of all, but when you think about definitions, holiness, what do you think about holiness and what does it mean? Uh, holy means to be pure. It means to be set apart. It means to be different. This morning in our passage of scripture, Isaiah is going to paint a picture for us describing the holiness of God. And holiness is one of those words we like, we, we feel like we know, but we often have a hard time describing it. And in Isaiah chapter 6, Isaiah has a vision, a vision of the Lord, and he recognizes the holiness of God. And so I want to ask this morning for us to consider the question is, what impact does holiness have in our life? And so this morning, as we dive into this passage, May we explore what holiness truly looks like and the holiness of God. Now let's begin our service. 